You're the fellow who's waiting for us to open up this morning, aren't you? That's right. And I guess you know what you want. Yes, I, I've been thinking about it. All night, eh? Yes. Excellent education. Good background. Wouldn't you rather consider something in which I you... I told you what I want. Parachute service. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You've had a few drinks, haven't you? It's legal, isn't it? Not in the army, it isn't. And we don't take drunks. Listen, I'm not drunk. I, I, I tell you, I know what I'm doing. I'm all right. Your physical checkup will determine that. We'll see. Come on. Good heavens, woman. Can I help it if you like him that way? That goes for you, too. Now, stop that bawling and get to the point. How much do you want? Say you don't want anything? Oh, nothing but Donald, eh? Well, if you want my son, you still don't want anything. Well, that's your hard luck. I'm not his nurse. Yeah, I hope you both sue him, because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze his trust funds. That's a pretty good picture of me, don't you think? Yeah. You've made a couple of passes too many. I'm cutting you off with a thin dime. Well, it isn't money they want, Dad. I can't figure out what it is about me. Abnormal muscles or merely a fine mind. Oh, yeah? Well, you've got yourself engaged to two women. Turn your fine mind loose on that. I did. Privates in the Army can't get married. At least that's what the recruiting sergeant told me. Recruiting sergeant? Yeah. Maybe I'll be proud of you yet. You, you all American half wit. That's right. I'm just a chip <laughs> off the old block. <laughs> so long, Dad. So long, son. Where'd you get this crazy hankering of jumping out of airship with a bumper suit strapped to your back? Yeah. Well, more Prunesy Collins. She talked me into it. So that's it. Can't you see them female Collinses is trying to get your neck broke? Yeah. Well, I always thought Prunesy kind of liked me. Ain't possible. Us horses were shooting at them Collinses the day you was born. Yeah, and I chased her armory men folk clean back to Georgia. Georgia? Yeah, and I'd have chased their women folk too, but it ain't be proper to Hollands. Georgia, that's where they're sending me, Paul. Yeah? Maybe it's a fulfillment. I'd forgive you right kindly, Jeff, if you potted me your Collins down there. Like they done to your grandpappy. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll bloodhound them to kingdom come. I'll sniff them out, Paul. I'll choose the first Georgia Collins I meet and I'll chaw them to pieces. Yeah. If he ain't too big. Come on. Have my heart. Say, that must be a party. He's a pretty big boy to be running around barefooted, isn't he? <laughs> I know why he kicks them off. They pinch his feet. Well, hello. May I have my seat, please? Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. I was looking for the owner of this shoe. It doesn't belong to your husband, so I. Uh, that is your husband, I presume. That's right. Oh. You do presume. Oh. And that's my father. Oh. Well, in that case, we can speak freely. Ow! What's going on here? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. After all, he's a nice old man. What? Me? What did you call me? Daddy, your temper. Somebody says something nice to you, and right away you fly off the handle. He, he called me an old man. He's not so old. May I offer the humble observation that any gentleman who could father such a child is ageless. Huh? Now, Daddy, boys are really trying to be very nice. All right. All right. They're trying. 
All right. I'm going to renovate this no, car. Now, now relax. I'm awful sorry. Excuse us, ma'am. We are but simple-hearted soldiers, more accustomed to the smoke of battle than the parlor ways. Oh, isn't that nice, Daddy? Soldiers. Soldiers? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Is that so? Yeah. You boys uh, going to Fort Benning? That's right. Uh, uh, my name is Bill Burke. At your service all the way. Bill what, son? William Mayberry Burke. Sit down, won't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're the Richards family, the whole shebang. We're on our way to Columbus, Georgia. Well, charmed to meet up with you. I'm Don Morse. The All-American? Yeah, I thought that would strike a reminiscent chord. And you? I'm just Jeff Hollis. <laughs> <laughs> well, the soldiers sure do interest me. Might I ask, uh, what branch of soldier you're in? Well, indeed you might. I'm hooked up with the infantry's new babies, the parachute boys. Me too. How is that so new? Seems to me I read somewhere where that idea was invented way back in the last war. Well, of course, I don't read the papers. <laughs> I'm only a serviceman myself. Since when, Sonny? Oh, well, quite a spell. I mean, ROTC in college. I might even be commissioned someday. Second Lieutenant Reserve. Isn't he interesting? He's plumb fascinating. I think I know what's so heavy, 180 pounds of ego. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been wondering. That's a caterpillar, isn't it? Yeah, that's a caterpillar. Look, I'll be down in Columbus now and then. What nights does Daddy go to lodge meetings? Well, that isn't exactly a lodge pig. <laughs> well, all right. Tractor salesman's local 23. <laughs> I mean, you're in the phone book. I'll get in touch with you. I got a better idea than that, Sonny. Yeah? What's that? I'll get in touch with you. Hi. Hi. Lieutenant. Fourteen. Fourteen? Fourteen. In here, men. Choose your own bunks. Did you ever play any football? You betcha. Let's take them out. They're heading for the best bunks. Nice going. <laughs> Sorry. I got a notion to hang a penalty on you, fella. All right, if that's the way you feel about it. Didn't hurt yourself, did you? Not a scratch. Too bad. You do all right with a little bit of interference. Is that how you made All-American? Yeah, that's how I accomplished a lot of little things. I... Remind me to have that upholstered. Sir, Master Sergeant Richard Derricol reporting for duty. Oh, send him in. Yes, sir. Come in, Sergeant. <laughs> oh, Thunderhead, take the ramrod out of your back and sit down. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Tell me, Richard, do you still hate the infantry? Well, naturally, sir, I still hate everything afoot. 
with the possible exception of Kit. Oh, I, I ain't mad at her anymore. I sure was the night she was born for being so effeminate. And I actually believe you hated me for being lucky enough to have a son. That's why I named him after you. William Mayberry Burke. You know, I nearly took that pill away from him when his mother hung that Mayberry on him. Yes, she never cared much for you. No. For anything else, it smelled like a soldier. I've been wondering just what kind of a guy she made out of him. Yes. I wondered more than you have. Look over your battalion, you may find out. He's here? Well, why the devil wasn't he sent to me? Now you know better. Now take it easy, Colonel. Don't start molly coddling him. It may spoil a good soldier. Oh. Sometimes I don't know why I put up with you. I want to see that boy of mine right away. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Well? Just that I was wondering if he'd realize that a colonel's son wears the same size hat band as his buddies. Well, he's got to learn, of course, that there's very little sentiment in the army. Well, let him take his turn. Treat him like any other private. Got the feeling these oats, he'd blow the morale to smithereens. Well, maybe you're right. But this is all new to him. Somebody has got to look after him. I'm the one to do that, sir. Let him cool his heels for a while. I'll bring him to you. All right. Your judgment is usually good. I'm going to let you have your own way for once. Lieutenant? Yeah. How long have you been out? Just since milking time. Platoon, halt! Right! Face! First! Hey, Don. Look. Old man Caterpillar. Seems kind of important around here. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder what kind of impression I made on him. Well, he said he'd get in touch with you. Platoon, tension. All you men who have taken part in athletics, report up here to me. The rest of you are dismissed. Fall out. The War Department wants to make sure that Private Moss, the famous footballer, was not slighted in this detail. Moss? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Moss, you've been chosen to lead these men in a highly important service. Well, thank you, Sergeant. You know, I was second lieutenant at ROTC. Yes. That's why you're going to take charge of this detail. Have them report to the sports field in fatigue uniform. Yes, sir. Boy, does he like me. I never saw so many athletes in one squad. Does horseshoe pitching count? No, you guys are just wasting the Army's time. You don't get these quick promotions for athletes' foot. Company, fall in! Oh, come on, fellas, fall in. but it's very necessary. About faith. Fall out and start digging. Necessary? Do the plumbing. Get going. Yes, sir. Looks 
like everybody's in high gear but us. Hiya, Wayne! You know, they throw you out of the parachute core if you get overweight. Maybe they're doing this for a waistline. Now, this is certainly destroying a lot of my dreams. Well, they've dug a nice ditch, Sergeant. Now, don't let them lie on it. Get busy there. Hey, Sergeant, do you mind if I ask you just one little question? Why, well, certainly. What did he ever do to Rafe? What did the old Thunderhead ever do? Yeah. Tonight, you're going to find out what he did. Years ago, when parachutes were an unknown quantity, a man had the courage to prove their great possibilities. In these pictures made by the United States Army long ago, you will see him execute one of the first dangerous tests in parachute history, a pull-off from the wing of a ship. Here you see the same thing in slow motion. Then, as the mechanics of parachute making progressed, he accomplished the first free jump opening his chute with a ripcord to prove its value in fire and emergency. But there remained a false belief that a man falling over 500 feet would die from the speed of descent. It was to disprove this fallacy that he made the first delayed drop, falling through space 1,500 feet, attaining a maximum speed of 118 miles per hour at 1,200 feet. To him, too, goes the credit for advocating and demonstrating the first mass jump in the history of the United States Army, or any other army. Now that you've seen these pictures of one of our greatest living heroes, I want you to meet him, Master Sergeant Richards. He will be your chief instructor in parachute training. In addition to Sergeant Richard's various decorations, he's a several time member of the Caterpillar Club, a distinction awarded only to those who have saved their lives through an emergency parachute jump. However, you will see no insignia of officer's rank on this man's shoulders. And in that lies an important point. Once he was slated for promotion, but when it didn't come, his loyalty never wavered and it never has since. And that's the spirit I wanted you men to get acquainted with tonight. By knowing this man, who has long forgotten about everything, but the importance of being a good soldier. Hip! Lachey! Yes, sir. Hollis! Here! Cullen! Here! Putnam! Here! Hutner! Here! Cullen! Brooke! Here! No, Cullen! Brown! Here! Hollis, you're still at attention. Fall out and assemble in the packing room. If you're going to jump these parachutes while you're in the battalion, it's important for you to understand their operation. Your outfit consists of a main chute and also a reserve chute for emergency purposes only. And this is known as your static line. Right, this end of your static line is hooked onto a cable in the ship. The other end is attached to the cover surrounding your main chute. Now, when you jump clear of the airplane, your weight coming upon the static line rips the threads loose from your pack cover and pulls your parachute into the air. All right, O'Shea. Like this.
Now, men, you've seen how they open. But the most important thing in your lives is to learn how to put them together. Report to your tables. Now, the first thing you must learn is how to lay out your chute for packing. Stand clear. With all these lines, it's a simple matter to get tangles before you start. Make each fold of the panels neat. Keep a clear, clean fold of the silk at the skirt. The shot bags will hold the silk in place as you continue your folds. The folding iron ensures even lengths of the folds. Don't get any twists in the lines while you're stowing. And your final operation is sewing the cover to your pack. All right, some of you boys are going to get your first look at the parachute jump. How's it feel, Sarge? You get that old elevator feeling? Ah, oh, the worst of it is standing in the door waiting to jump. Take it easy. It's only Bessie, our dummy. A dummy? Dummy, that's right. Come on, I'll show you. Pick her up, Morris. Boys, this is Bessie. Now, this little lady takes these beatings to impress on you men the importance of packing your chutes carefully. <laughs> Was uh, that you, Morris? Hmm? Morris, I don't believe I like your attitude toward Bessie. If I ever catch you woo-woo and any of my women folks, you'll feel like you've been through a world war. Go ahead, Sergeant. You see, Bessie is beautiful, but dumb. She plumb forgot she had an emergency shoot on. You see this ripcord? When her main shoot didn't work, this is all she had to do. That's right. And remember, first and always, you probably never need to pull that ripcord if you pack your main chutes carefully. It's your best life insurance. And a sloppily packed chute is your surest way to suicide. For example, it was your chute, Burke, packed by you that failed to open up there. Did hey, you hear the good news? One of the office boys slipped me Kit's home address. You mean old Flanderhead's home address? Yeah. He promised to belt me if I woo-wooed around. What are you gonna do? Woo-woo. Say, how about you coming along and acting as decoy? No, I got a date with some library books. Gonna learn a few things about the army I never knew before. You need it. You were a bright yellow when the Sarge told you about your shoot. What'd you say? You heard me. Let him... <laughs> boys, 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 mustn't, mustn't. <laughs> I thought you said must. I wanted to do it. Jiggers, the Sarge. And the father bear says, who's been sitting in my chair? Why, he's asleep. Yeah, he was tired. Fighting, eh? Fighting, Sarge? Somebody's gonna lose his weekend pass. Oh, Sarge. I've got an important date in town this weekend. Who's me, Sarge? I don't, and I ain't sorry. No, if I saw a moss throw that punch. Looks like I'll have to put him on kitchen police. That is, uh, there's one of you might be willing to do me a little favor. Yeah, sure. Spill it. Come here. What can we do for you, Sarge? Well, doggone it. Taking a girl to a dance. I'd rather be shot sitting down than to make a fool of myself trying to dance. Dancing? <laughs> Why, that's a cinch for one of these fellas. How about it, Jeff? Yeah, but not with a girl. Not me. Bill, you know who I want to see in town. I'd do the same for you. Well, I guess I'm stuck. Oh, I'll never forget you. That's well of you. Where do I find it? Uh, can you whistle? Whistle? Yeah, why? Well, when you go out the gate, just blow a few notes of Reveille, and she'll honk a horn. Hello. 
Well, if it isn't... Kid Richards, remember? You bet I do. How have you been? Fine. Say, uh, Tex couldn't get away, and he thought maybe it'd be all right if I took over. Well, I can't say I blame Tex much for running out. He sort of got roped in because he's a friend of Dad's. But it's a pleasant disappointment. Come on, hop in. Right. that fresh person. He's lucky if he lives through the day. Oh, you said it. Say, is, uh, is your father going to be home all afternoon? Mm-hmm, I think so. Oh, brother. Huh? Oh, nothing. Sergeant, I was just looking for an address. Keep on looking. Yes. Private well, thanks, Kit. I guess that's what got me in the army. For the life of me, I can't think what else. Oh, the army's not so dumb. Oh, goodness, we'd better be going. It's pretty late for Dad. You know, he never goes out until I come in. Why? Well, Dad can't be happy until everybody else is bored to death. Well, all right, let's go. Still looking, Sergeant. Try the next block. You're getting in a rut, soldier. Yeah. Taste improving, Kit. Stick around as long as you like. Good night, soldier. Good night, Sergeant. Good night, Kit. Good night, sugar. Don't call me sugar. I hate it. I like the way you said that, Bill. I don't think much of it either. Your father's awfully sure of his snap judgment, isn't he? Well, I admire him. I don't want to make a sucker out of him. Not so close to home, anyhow. What do you mean, Bill? You're an army girl, kid. You were born that way. You couldn't like a bad soldier. You're trying to tell me something. What is it? You're wonderful, kid. I want to like you. But first of all, I, I've got to like myself. Listen, I got drunk to enlist in the parachute troop. I had to do it. And now I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what comes next.
stubby ripcord pulled your chute open. Now we're going to show you what happens if you fail to hook it securely. What would you do? Pull that ripcord. Cord. That was working every second. Never run out of altitude and knowledge at the same time. Don't forget you can do a lot of navigating with those shroud lines. Notice when he lands now, he'll use his knees as a springboard. He'll dish rag his chute before it can drag him. Second, you forget everything we taught you, Bill. You ran clean out of knowledge. Well, uh, I'll do better next time. Yahoo! 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 Perfect landing. Yeah. Too bad. Hmm? Uh, not bad. Not bad. That jerk. That green little pipsqueak in a slide chair pasted up there with me. I like antiques too, but not too many of them. That measly little tin soldier. Right beside the picture of me landing that burning plane. Will I have to live and die hearing about that burning plane? So that's it, is it? This is what I get in my own house. Why couldn't you pick on a fella I like? What's wrong with Bill Burke? Who said anything was wrong with him? It happens that Saturday is payday and Don Moss is taking me out. Oh, he is, is he? Well, he likes showing off so much, I bet he'd be ashamed to come around if something accidentally happened to his pay. If you use your miserable authority to spoil my evening... Me? Do you think I'd do that? No. Bet your life I wouldn't. I think you'd think of something I couldn't pin on you. Sugar. Don't call me Sugar! Caldwell. 6530. 6530. Collins. 4860. 4860. Hey, 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 get back there. Where do you think you're going? Get back in line. I just saw him over there in Company D, but I can't get at him. They say he's a little fella, too. Domino's? Yeah. It's a fine hairy chested outfit. Want to play? Uh, me? No. I got a pocket full of pay, a date with Kip, and I like my games grown up. Did not let old Thunderhead hear you running down this game. He's a wizard at it. All right. He likes it, so it's wonderful. <laughs> the king can do no wrong. Well, well, Domino's Tex. Yeah. Moss doesn't like it. Is that so? Well, let's get going, fellas. Wait, Wait a minute, Moss. There was nothing personal about it. No, no, I realize that, but if you could learn to like dominoes, you and me could spend every weekend playing. Oh, he'd like that, wouldn't you, Don? Oh, yeah, that would be... Sit down, Yeah, sit down. Well, I feel sort of guilty about taking up all your time, Sergeant, and you being my superior and all that. Oh, oh you mustn't feel that way about it. But there's no harm me teaching you dominoes. It's a uh, plenty of point to go to the welfare fund. Who's welfare? Just a sweet charity. <laughs> Sweet charity, my eye. I need my dough for tonight. <laughs> I understand that. Well, thanks. Start playing. Yes, Yeah. 
Yeah, take it. You'll need it. You've got a family to support. Well, I just happen to remember that I play a pretty fair game of domino. Oh, here. Uh, would you kindly drop the sergeant's pay in the welfare box? Good night, Sarge. Still time to take care of a little business in town. But it just seems so unfair to so many other girls. Kid, I wish there was something I could say to make you believe it. You're the swellest girl I ever knew. Well, it sounds better when you say it like that. And I do want to thank you for a wonderful evening, Don. Dad. It's murder. See you next Saturday. Maybe. see that guy after I told Why you. Why don't you like him, Sugar? Because he's no good. He throws his money away. He, he, he gambles. And don't call me Sugar. All right, then. There's just one more thing. Tomorrow, you take your first jumps. And this one's for keeps. Okay. Start packing. Don't work tomorrow. Bring it back and I'll give you another one. Thank you, sir. Just kidding, ain't he? I wish we'd get going on those jumps. The sporting editor of the Herald's been pestering me for pictures. You know, I took that thing apart and I looked at it. And I packed it. And I repacked it. It seems to me some little important piece of string kept getting out of place. You'll find out. Lights out. Good night, Ma. Back home, malls used to fold everything for me. If I can't do it. Pipe down, you. Platoon! Halt! Left! Face! At ease. Now, I want you men to remember We've never had a parachute fatality in this service. And we don't want any firsts of that kind in this battalion. If you 
you have any trouble with your main chute, remember your emergency. And when you pull that rip cord, pull it hard. Tags, put a new chute on this man. We could use him for the dummy. He's kidding again. Ain't he? <laughs> All right, men. This here go first. Spot the wind currents for you. Ladies first. Hope you got a better shoot on than she had the other day. Hey, Bert, you didn't pack this shoot, did you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out. You men, get back in your seat. Gee, look at her awful lady. Yeah. Looks like she's over Alabama. Yeah. Number one. That's you, Morse. Good luck. Woo! Happy lady. Give my love to Bessie. Relax, Morse. Yeah, relax, Morse. The toughest part's in your own mind. If you fellas are expecting a juicy drop, you're going to be badly mistaken. Why, well, when you get out there, you'll feel like you're standing still. And the sky just rolling by. Hook up! Stand it up! <laughs> Head up, Moss! Take it easy. Leave those muscles free to move. When Texas go, you go! Somebody we know. <laughs> Hollis! That's you, Slim. That good luck horseshoe? You don't need a parachute. You just step down here. Wake up, Hollis, and fasten your chest guard. Hook up. Stand your door. Some little goo. 
Dogs, Ben! What's the matter, son? We're gonna land. You're gonna put me down. Come on, snap out of it. You can't do anything but make a noise with that blank ammunition. No, but I took the blanks out. I've got live ammunition in this gun. Nobody's going to make you jump, Spence. We'll land. Come on, give me that pistol. No. No, I won't. I don't believe you. That's better. You're scared now, aren't you? That's good. Hook up, Burke. Burke. Didn't you hear my order? It'll be the last order you'll ever give. The last one. I know how you feel, Spence. Keep back, or I'll... No, you won't. Remember what you told me last night? About your family? <laughs> I'm the pilot landed, Spence. You've got nerve, kid. Plenty. Gentlemen, gentlemen. In good old Aqua Pura, I want to propose a toast. To Bill Burke. The man, the man who saved our dear old Thunderhead from a fate which he so richly deserved. <laughs> well, I thought that was funny. Men, I uh, just talked to Spence over in the observation ward. He's going to get his transfer. And he wants to thank Private Burke for taking that gun away. I don't suppose anybody will mind now if I let you all in on something. The Commandant's son is right here in your company. Private Bill Burke. Why, Bill? Why didn't you tell How about it, Bill? Sergeant, uh, I, I wonder if I could see the Commandant. Well, that's quite a coincidence. The Commandant was wondering if he could see you. Come in. Private Burke wants to see you, sir. Hello, Bill. Sit down. And Bill, stop trying to look so important. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's that, sir. I guess it's just that a real soldier don't like so much hullabaloo. So I've heard. <laughs> well, son, haven't you anything to say? Yes, sir. I wish to be transferred to another branch of the service. Oh, you don't know what he's talking about, sir. He's been through a good deal today. Yes, I have. Only it's not what you think. Gee, I, I'd rather Spence had shot me up there today than, than to have to tell you this. I was afraid to jump. I was stalling. Don't you see? It, it was the only out I could find. Bill! You don't mean that. You're gonna stay here with us. And, and turn out to be another Spence? Can't you see, sir, I'm, I'm doing this for you. If I stick around here, it, it might make you look pretty bad. Maybe he's using better judgment than we are. Private Burke, you'll be quietly assigned to ground duty for two weeks. If you don't change your mind in that time, you'll get your transfer. I, I'd like... Good night, sir. Good night, Mayberry. Bill's the name. I know that. It's my name. I gave it to you. Well, I'm taking it back. We 
Hey, Jeff, how come you pulled your emergency chute when you jumped today? Well, I was the last one to jump, and I saw I was passing everybody. I figured it was about time to pull it. Beat it out for him. I'm afraid this transfer isn't much good anymore. We'll cancel it immediately. Thank you, sir. How's Sergeant Richards today? I'm afraid he's going to be in the hospital for quite a while. But when they told him you went up again this morning and made a good jump, his temperature dropped two points. I'll make another tomorrow. No, you don't. You'll make your required six jumps according to schedule. Yes, sir. Now we're going to miss that old foghorn yelling in our ears. Yeah, couldn't you do a little bellowing, Sergeant, just to make it feel natural? I had a decent jump since he's in the hospital. That makes you even with yourself. All right, men, hook up. Land it off.
those mounds. I want that floor clean enough to eat off on. Eat off of there? That's what I said. Just like them Collinses. He'll never learn anything with his shoes on. Collins! Glad to see you. How are you, old man? Fine, thanks. Collins! Captain Collins to you. Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Some way we get word to old Thunderhead. Let him know we're going to do our best for him out there Monday. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Make him feel better. Hello, Colonel. Hiya, Sergeant. Hello, Bill. Hello, Sergeant. How do you feel tonight? Well, I've, I've felt a lot better, Bill. The fellows wanted me to tell you that that they're gonna try harder for you than they ever could for themselves. Is that on the level? That's why I came here tonight, just to tell you that. That's great, Bill. <laughs> Take it easy, Sergeant. Oh. You'll have to leave now, Burke. Oh. Yes, sir. Good night, Bill. Thanks for coming. You've done me a more good than a bushel of pills. Good night, Sergeant. Thank you. Good night, Colonel Burke. Good night. Good night, sir. This is the gall darndest thing. I suppose next week you'll be asking me to play Camille. Sergeant looks very chic in a nightgown, don't you think so, sir? Yes, he has what I believe is known in some circles as appeal. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but I've been fit as a fiddle for a week, and those orderlies won't even let me walk down the hall. That's because you're such a valuable patient. The whole battalion's going to make good just to save your life. Why don't you pour Sergeant Richards a little medicinal whiskey? Hey, wait a minute. Excuse me. I'm afraid of getting an overdose. Whoa! Hey, Bill! You know what? It's terrific. Hey, salute me, pal. You feel all right? No, I'm dizzy. My college ROTC just paid off. Nickels or dimes. Oh, second Lieutenant Reserve. They're gonna send me down for a refresher course right after the big splurge Monday. Oh, gosh, Don, gee, that's swell. Oh, you said it. A commissioned officer can get married. Yeah, maybe that's bad. Oh, no, not this time. Kit's over at the hospital seeing her old man. The minute I get through wadding those umbrellas, I'm gonna beat it right over there and tell her. Kit? Yeah, Kit. Oh. Hey, what's eating you? I've been thinking women were a dime a dozen of you. Oh, well, you're way behind in your thinking. Yeah, but I'm catching up quick. Say, if you've got Kit on your mind, you're out of luck. Maybe not. Not if I get there first. If you try to toss a monkey wrench into this thing... There's no law against competition. You mean you'd cross me up? I suppose anybody's a double-crosser that won't run interference for you. Well, brother, you're on your own today. <laughs> you're looking for trouble. And I'm gonna see that you get it. Okay, I'm learning to love it. I went through plenty of it to make Bill Burke into something he wasn't. I didn't think very much of that guy at first, but now I even like him. Yeah, it was Kit Richards back of all that. And you're dumber than Bessie if you think I'm stepping off the sidewalk for Shavetail Morse Reserve. It's a mighty sloppy way of packing a chute. Better restow those lines. It's okay, Sergeant. I'll jump like this. You heard what I said, restow those lines. Back to your table, Moss. Well, it'll keep you busy for a while, bud. Yeah, that's what you think. You know, you haven't mentioned Don all evening. Yeah, but I've been thinking a lot about him. Kit, there's something that's got to be settled. Yes, I know. Seems to me lately Don's had something on his mind. Maybe something about me. Yeah. Today he received word he's getting an officer's commission. That's why I had to see it before he could turn on that high pressure A commission? And... Oh, that's wonderful. Bill, will you do something for me? Will you tell Don that I care for him very much? And tell him that if he has anything important to ask me... Tell him yourself. Bill! 
Well, you're in love with me. Well, aren't you? Of course I am. What's been holding you back? Oh, a lot of things. Things I had to get straight in my own mind. Like two more years enlisted service. And... Well, that's not too long to wait for the right one. this general demonstration is to be an attack on an enemy village. Our operations are to coordinate with the other participating units at this post. The parachute unit has been charged with the destruction of a central objective, which houses a powder magazine, indicated by these crosses. Due to their recent good work, I've assigned two men for a special detail against the powder magazine. Private Morse and Private Burke. Any questions, boys? Take over, Sergeant. Detail, attention. All right, men, fall out. Battalion, halt! Left, fake! Morris and Burke are missing. They are. Take over. Right, face! Forward, march! I'm not through you yet. All right, you're asking for it. Shut up! Look, there's where you're supposed to be. What can we do? Get doing you lugs and I'll show you. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Jackson Indian. Right. Now you got one chance to clean yourselves up. Get to those powder magazines and get to them quick. We can't use our static lines on this ship. Use your emergency shoes set to that bar.
Magazine. What's happened to them? Hey, what luck? We're right behind the village. Yeah, look. Boy, I wish that street down there was full of Cullens. Cullens? That's my name. What? Cullens. Why, you little mouse, you have been sniffing all over for you. My name's Hollis. Hollis? Hollis? You ornery little crawler, I'm gonna make dog meat out of you. You know what I'm gonna do to you? We're running! We're running! Never mind that, don't try to talk me out of it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm the... On what? In the powder house! Stand Congratulations, Colonel. Thank you, sir. The Chief of Infantry wishes to congratulate Colonel Burke and the officers and enlisted men of the 501st Parachute Battalion for proving their important value as a combat unit and who now will be officially awarded the new parachute emblem. Sergeant McBride. Congratulations, McBride. Thank you, sir. Private First Class, Stewart. Stewart, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Private First Class, Reardon. Congratulations, Reardon. Thank you, sir. Private First Class, Oh, Herbert. so it's you. Sure. You know, that battalion would never speak to you again if they knew you had your health. Private First Class, Burke. Congratulations. Bill. Thank you, Dad. Say, hey, where's Don? He was here a couple of minutes ago. There he goes. Hey, Lieutenant. See you around in a couple of years. Yes, you're going to be the best man. What do you mean, going to be? I always was. I think I'll just see that he gets his suitcase packed. Stick around as close as you like, kid. Thanks, Pop. He's always kidding. Ain't he?